everyone and welcome back to Classic Cricket Matches. Today I have the highlights uh, from the third one day game of the five ODI series between Pakistan and South Africa in 2007 uh, which took place in Faisalabad, Pakistan. I previously uploaded the highlights from the second one day game. Uh, so if you remember the series was now leveled at 1-1. This was the third one day -er going in. So South Africa won the toss and elected to bat first on what turned out to be a slow and tricky wicket. Pakistan, for the most part, were retaining most of the uh, core team that took them to the uh, finals of the 2007 T20 World Cup, where they finished as runners-up. And South Africa were pretty much at their full strength. Anyways, enjoy the highlights. Before we begin, I would like to ask you to please press that subscribe and like button, as it would really help this channel. Uh, without further ado, here's the game. He's to keep making the changes to be on top of uh, his bowling. Yes. Good shot. Not Graham Smith's favourite area, but on this occasion he played it beautifully. Timing was there, he waited for the ball nicely, got the full face of the bat through the line. Well, that ball swung away from the left-hander. Normally we have seen uh, Sohel Tanvir brings the ball into the left-hander. That one was just going away and uh, just made full use of it. It was far away and uh, just thrown the bat, heavy bat. He doesn't really put much of a stress on his, on his back. That's another one played, beautifully played, through the gap, offside, nicely struck. Very good start for Graham Smith. Two excellent cover drives through that gap between cover and mid-off, so he's picked that area pretty well this morning. The bat coming through much straighter than it did the other evening. And he's a kind of a bowler who's... Beautiful shot, excellent shot treat to watch that's a top shot Herschel Gibbs at his very best his feet moved very well on that occasion his weight transfer was perfect presented the full face of the bat there we see that scrambled seam again but that was a very very good shot pitched up a little bit on that occasion from Umar Gul. and uh, good foot move movement match that's a poor delivery. Another poor delivery by Sohail Tanweed onto the leg stump. And uh, Graham Smith, all he needed to do is just uh, guide it to the final leg. Jumps across the stumps like he often does to unsettle the bowler. Tanvi is not experienced, so you can expect him to every now and then fall for this sort of thing. He tried to uh, go too straight and he was too leg side on that occasion. got that away for four and that's the rank long hop that uh, Ian Bishop's referring to a length with a new ball on this pitch is going to be difficult to score off this sort of length isn't was very nearly a caught and bowled it certainly got back to him in the air that's good fielding right underneath us excellent fielding good running too so quite an eventful delivery one way and another that's a good shot so uh, not a very successful over for Umar Gul a very good one for South Africa 33 with that loss. Oh, down the wicket, chipped over mid off. That'll run away for four. So suddenly it's Gibbs now. He's trying to use his feet. The control in the shot was very good. And these are a good couple of overs because the run rate two overs ago was just about three and a half now it's gone to 5.18 starting to find some momentum he didn't try to force the issue he used all timing got inside the line of the ball that is as good a shot a sweeter shot we've had a word with him before that's another boundary for Gibbs so South Africa looking to cut loose now
just wait. free the arms and hit it as hard as you can there's a man at short extra cover but he had no chance of getting a hand on that Gone, Gibbs goes, he's crossed with himself. Always a little bit close to cut. It's a shot that's playable, but if the ball bounces that little bit more, you can get into trouble. It's a well-needed wicket, it's a much-needed wicket by Pakistan. South Africa just taking the initiative. Now let's look at the shot. I wonder if he was influenced by the fact that all the slips had been taken out, or both the slips had been taken out because of the recent South African dominance in the last two overs just went feeling for it uncommitted shot brings his downfall he's gone for 19 43 for one Found, no doubt oh, it's a beautiful stroke in the covers area good time on that ball that was little over pitch and Callis was there to hit with the middle of the bat. You'll feel a lot better after this, Jacques Callis. That's a 50 up for South Africa as well, coming in just under 13 overs. Jacques Callis is strong on the offside, square of the wicket. Umar Ghul obliged on this occasion. He gave him enough room and the timing was uh, quite superb. Too wide by Tanvir. He gave Kallis a whip, he won it. He got that away over point. As we said, he is very strong, square at the wicket on the offside. So Tanvir guilty there of just uh, missing his line, bowling too wide, giving Kallis a chance to free up his arms. Freedy is back. First ball was on target. Got it! Oh, yes, here you are. And. Uh, First success of his, from, his, from his bowling. Callis is out. That's a great blow for South Africa. 57 for two. Sean Callis couldn't control that drive. It was in the air for a bit. Good catch this time. It's an important wicket from a Pakistan point of view. The three D strikes. Fifty-seven for two. Oh! That was a good placing because there was no fielder, and uh, for that uh, he got four. It was a good delivery as well. We, we said that the ball is turning. This one turned away from Abi de Villiers. He was able to get enough bat on it to get it past first slip. That one turned nicely. But most of the time I've seen South African uh, bowlers, they don't see spinners hand that well at uh, last over. So he's doing well at the moment. Too much whip off at the Abu de Villiers, loves him in that area. He's very strong, square of the wicket on the offside. That's a typical uh, de, de Villiers shot. No doubt that he is very strong on the point area. He loves to hit there. Changing the field now as well. The sweeper is going out. Two. Got a great catch. What a catch. Well, that covers the last game. That's for sure. Well, Pakistan couldn't catch a cold two days ago. Now they're catching everything. A fantastic catch from Shai Dafridi. He didn't look as if he could reach it when he set off, or at least when he launched himself. And squeezed his fingers underneath. Just take a good look at this. Nothing wrong with a shot other than it was a little bit aerial. He's miles away from it. Gotcha. And take the salute. <laughs> Absolutely wonderful. A completely different team in the field, Pakistan compared with uh, just three days ago De Villiers goes for 17 it's just so nice to see that catch 
again and again look at that full length on to the right that's it well the other day we've seen uh, Shahid Afredi dropping a lot dolly catch but this one an excellent catch superb catch didn't take him long didn't take the ball to that might go for four no the field is uh, is quick to come around well 247 I believe uh, uh, by the look of the nature of the pitch I think uh, might be a winning total here to the I mean and Sri Lanka where the batsman if he's turning or if it's uh, it's hard to bat against is use their feet and just get to the pitch and uh, Afridi he took that catch today was brilliant Smith's down the track he see Mohammed Yusuf come up he's used his feet and that's the sort of thing you've got to make the bowler think you've got to do something different that was a good ball but uh, Graham uh, Smith played it so well 120 odd runs in the gap and that's a boundary it was solidly swept by Graham Smith oh that was a good sweep middle of the bat and there was no fielder there it's a little bit of pressure on Shred Malik here because he bowled only three overs in the first match at Lahore moment trouble oh that will be gone that will be gone that is not what South Africa needed it's what Pakistan would have dreamed of Smith has turned and walked straight away he's gone might be by a long way it was a good throw straight into the hands of uh, the wicketkeeper and he was out that wasn't a run because the fielder was right there at the top and uh, when the fielder is close, I mean, you don't need to score that kind of a score. And listen to the roars of the crowd. 48 to here, 122 for four. Short time that this rule has been in place. Run rates have improved. And there is an example. The harder ball goes out of the ground. Six for Justin Kemp. He needed that. He'll feel a lot better. Excellent hit against the spin and that is uh, just because the ball was changed it was a new ball newish ball I would say and came onto the bat nicely very nicely because it's turning square actually that's a good one another one good delivery Shur Malik uh, has struggled a little bit If you overall look at it, Nathini, Nathini is not bowling that well. He's struggling, although he did pick up a few wickets, but he's not, he's not. That's more like it. That's Justin Kemp's strength, hitting down the ground. That was a very good shot. What is a gentle jab. He came down the track, he didn't try to hit it too hard, he made sure he get the thicker part of the bat and which he got look at that nicely struck straight down the track great fielding once again from the Pakistani fielder Yasir Hamid on that occasion on the boundary definitely safe Excellent delivery, used his feet uh, just in camp on that occasion and missed it completely. That one hit the leg stump. It's a big breakthrough, it came just at the right time for Pakistan. Justin Kemp was looking to dominate, he looked like he was starting to get in his stride. He hit across that delivery. Very good bowling again by Afridi and a very important breakthrough. Justin Kemp's disappointed, he struggled to get going. Oh, 
Well, that might be straight at him. No, it isn't. One bounce four. And Morkel gets away. Yeah, they seem a little disappointed either in the positioning of Wumakul. Abdul Rahman feels that maybe he should have been a little finer. It's a welcome boundary, nevertheless. Five like this. Oh, that's straight up in the air. Someone's going to catch it. It's showed Malik underneath it. And he completes the catch. Boucher. The first real shot in anger. And he's gone. It's critical for a couple of reasons. Most important is that it was the last delivery of Abdul Rahman's spell. Mark Boucher would have wanted to have been there, but it's the difficulty of hitting across the turn of the left arm spinner. A couple of nights ago, you couldn't say with any assurance that that would have been held. But it's a different Pakistan team that has turned up today. Oh, that bonus runs five wides. Oh, it's like a Christmas present to South Africa. There's no real reason why he really should have slid this down the leg side as a tactic to try to get. Not that tactically he would have wanted to go wide, but the line is just too straight. He was operating well on the off stump, middle and off stump. Why do that? Gordon Bold. What an influence Shahid Afridi has had on this match already, and he hasn't gone into bat yet. Blistering catch at mid-wicket. A wonderful, wonderful bowling spell. His third wicket. It's a good comeback after bowling the wides. It's a better line. Quite a simple catch, and he lets them have a good look at it. It's been a wonderful effort, and South Africa didn't want to lose that wicket then. Pollock gone for one, 181 for seven. Pump it a long way. Oh, he's worked that away for four. That's a very valuable stroke from Morkel. No third man back there. The fielders are all packed on the onside. They're three out on the onside. And the line was wrong. And that's all changed. Third man in place now. Oh, he's hit that straight up in the air as well. There's a man underneath it, a long off. We catch it without going over the boundary. Yes, he will. This is a huge blow to South Africa. As Morkel was more than capable of taking the score past 200. Very clinical stuff from Pakistan in the field. It's a way to describe the way they feel it, the way they've caught in contrast to what they did in the second ODI, even though they went on to win him around his ear, the sub, he's on the field. He's a good fielder, generally, anywhere in the field. Yeah, look at the guy in red, he's holding his head. Is it going to hold? Yep, it holds in the end, and it's the end of Morkel for 12, 189 for 8. It's a very well struck shot from Langerfeld and it's wonderful fielding at long off. Yunus Khan, the man down there, normally stands a slip. Bowling. Langerfeld has a slog. Iftikhar takes another wicket and with one over to go, South Africa and nine down. Good change of pace again. And the off cutter is through his shot far too early. He's across the line. He's he's not really a very competent low order batsman, but the control exhibited by these guys at the end of the innings is exemplary. That's it. All over. 197. South Africa won't be happy. So a pretty good effort by the Pakistani bowlers, uh, which helped. Uh, keep the South African batters in check uh, with regular wickets at regular intervals uh, they just never got things going and ended, up, and ended up finishing on 197 all out 
with the majority of the wickets being shared between Iftikhar Anjum and Shahid Afridi. So I apologize, I only have the highlights of the Pakistan bowling. Uh, just to recap, though, Pakistan had to chase 198 runs to win. Uh, Yasser Hamid and Shahid Afridi came out. Uh, Shahid Afridi going guns blazing, uh, scored a quick fire, 32 runs off 18 balls, uh, with four boundaries and two sixes, and then a good middle order, or a good middle order effort by Mohammad Yusuf again with another 50, and Shoy Malik with another uh, 40 plus score. In the end, helping Pakistan to win by six wickets. Uh, so now the series is squared at 2-1 in favor of Pakistan ever ha after having been one down so it's shipping up nicely uh, Shahid Afridi was adjudged uh, man of the match for his 3 wickets and uh, 30 plus score South Africa ended up winning the 4th game of the series uh, thereby leveling the series at 2-2 so this was a very exciting series indeed and uh, I do have highlights from the 5th game which I will bring to you shortly uh, until then, uh, please take care uh, and stay tuned. Goodbye.